What's going on? This is Kareem from DJBooth.net, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a really quick rundown video review of the brand new Reloop Spin portable turntable. So this is the latest portable turntable in a market that doesn't have many huge name brands actually getting into it just yet. You guys remember we recently reviewed the Newmark PT-01 Scratch, and we'll put it here for size purposes. The O1 Scratch is a little bit taller, a little bit thicker, but as you can see, the Reloop Spin is a little bit wider, but it is more shallow this way, so that way you can guys can get a quick size comparison between the two. They both have cases and covers over them, just as you see, this is the case right now with the Reloop Spin, and we're going to just break down everything with this portable turntable let you see all of the bells and whistles that this has that the PT-01 does not come with and we'll let you know what we like and exactly what we don't like but right off the bat you can see it's a nice lightweight construction but it is pretty durable it's very very similar to the Vestax handy tracks that was out some time ago it looks almost like the same type of mold that they use to make these but as you can see it's a nice clamshell style it has two latches on the front so that way you can secure it and open it it also comes with a quick wall adapter you also do not get the 3.7 volt lithium ion batteries that you can use with it and you don't get a power bank whatsoever so you're gonna have to have a USB cable in order to plug into the reloop spin we'll show you the outlet on this side of the reloop spin in one second and it also comes with something that's really cool it comes with a spin and scratch sounds uh, reloop vinyl one side has your phrases and your tone and the other side has beats for you so really cool to see that they included a seven inch vinyl in here so you can start scratching right out of the box right so for the inputs and outputs we have here your USB record option so that way you can actually plug in a USB stick you'll press the USB record button on the top of the unit and you'll be able to record you have two headphone outputs so that way two DJs can use this at once one is the mini style and of course the other one is the bigger quarter inch jack then you also have a master out this is an RCA jack here but you can also use adapters to make this any other type of output that you're gonna need for your own speakers or your own system you also have a power button here on off then you have your rechargeable port for your USB this is a micro USB port other side you have a speaker vent so that way you know the speaker is facing towards you while you're scratching and you also have your auxiliary input which is also a mini jack and this is perfect for when you want to use external sound sources in order to get your sound into the device so that way you can scratch over your beats and your loopers so let's just break this bad boy down open it up and see exactly what we got all right so here we have it the brand new reloop spin portablest scratch turntable so right off the bat you can see we have the tone arm here it's plastic just like the other portablest tone arms that usually come bundled with the portablest turntable um, these can be exchanged for a jesse dean tone arm which is much more robust they also have another tone arm that you can actually replace your whole head shell area so that way you can have whatever you want to have on there at the end it is pretty costly so Right now we're making do with what's here now and maybe in the future we'll actually mod this turntable to include that type of feature. Um, you have a stand here on the right so that way you can sit it down like so when you're using it and when you have it in transport you want to lock it into this little locking position here. You have your crossfader over here on the left hand side. Actually when you're using this in battle mode you want to turn this vertically and you have two different places where you can insert your crossfader. The crossfader that comes here is pretty much garbage. It's very very bad. It's terrible. The cut in distance is very very high. Some of your scratches will not come off as smoothly and as nicely as you want and also sometimes this fader bleeds on me a little bit as well. So I would definitely recommend anybody buying this turntable that they also replace the crossfader immediately which is going to be like another eighty dollars plus charge because you're going to need to get something like the jesse dean fader in there or you're going to have to get a mini inno fader in there which they have specifically for the reloop spin the good part about this is you can also use the one that it came with as an additional fader on the other side you can use it like a line fader or you can use it for two different people at the same time so that way you guys can have scratch performances back to back Next, you have your platter. Your platter is 
plastic as with all the others. You also do get your felt slip mat which definitely serves its purpose and of course included you get your spin and scratch vinyl from Reloop. You have your plastic 45 adapter over here and your buttons are all on the right hand side for all of your performance features. You have a power indicator up here. Then you have a 33, 45, 78 RPM mode so that way you can change the speed of the motor. It's a belt driven motor, but it definitely does get the job done. It feels just as good as with the PTO one scratch. Next you have your pitch so that way you can change the speed of the record that's playing. Then you have your tone control for low to high. So that way you can change exactly how the tone sounds in the sound of the speaker. You have your aux input volume and then you have your volume control knob for the speaker that's on board. Next you have your start and stop button so that way you can start and stop the motor just by pressing the button. You can pair your Bluetooth device easily with this, your cell phone, so that way you can play your beats back using your looper with Bluetooth pairing and then you can scratch your sounds using the supplied vinyl. Next you have a USB record option. Whenever you want to record, you just grab your USB thumb drive, throw it into the side, press USB record and you're recording. You can press it again to stop, press it again and it'll continue recording where you left off. Really good feature to have on the Reloop Spin. So in conclusion, the Reloop Spin is an excellent addition to the Portableist community. It's nice to see that a real serious manufacturer came out with a nice tool that DJs can use if they really want to get a nice package, all in one package, with a lot of different bells and whistles already embedded into a Portableist package. The PT-01 does not have a lot of the extra features that you see here right off the bat, and this made by Reloop, the Reloop Spin is definitely a good way to go if you don't want to have to do as much modding as you would have to do on the PT-01 Scratch in order to get this far with the technology inside of your portableist turntable. It has good compact portability, it has nice construction overall, it definitely feels like it's going to last. It is pretty much all plastic with a little metal here and there thrown in but it definitely feels like it's going to take a beating but if you really are afraid you might as well go get a case or any type of bag so that way you can take this with you on the go with no worries at all. It also has the two crossfader slots down here for versatility that means you can have one slot be like a line fader and the other slot be a better crossfader which you're definitely going to have to change as we spoke about earlier. You also can use two different DJs at the same time for cutting. So it's really good to see that they have two different slots here for that type of versatility in your performances. It also has the dual headphone outputs and the speaker just seems to be louder than the other speakers on the PTO one Scratch and other portableist turntables that I've heard in the past. It also has really cool additional features such as your Bluetooth pairing, your USB record, and a play stop start button right here already built in. Of course you're not going to get those on the PTO one Scratch unless you're ready to do a little bit of modding. So if you don't want to do as much modding then the Reloop Spin is probably the better choice for you. The Reloop Spin also has multiple power options. You can use this with an outlet using the supplied little outlet plug here that you can plug in your own USB cable to. You can use this with USB power bricks or power banks and you can also use this with rechargeable lithium ion 3.7 batteries. On the downside, the crossfader is very, very bad. It's pretty much terrible. It's almost useless to me. I could barely scratch on this because the cutting distance is so long and many times the crossfader actually had some bleed in it as well. It also doesn't come with any way to actually power the unit. It doesn't come with the rechargeable lithium ion batteries and it also doesn't come with a USB power brick so that way you can power the unit. But you can usually find those items everybody usually has those items and if you're really serious about the portableist culture then you probably already have those items anyway so for more on the written review you guys can head on over to www.djboot.net slash djs then you can type in reloop spin or just type in reloop and you'll see all of our reviews that we've done all over the years make sure you guys hit the thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you also subscribe so that way you know exactly when the brand new videos are coming out and as always thanks for watching